So far, we simulated our nominal design in EMIT and identified two mitigation strategies. From there, we modified the nominal board in HFSS 3D layout to improve the shielding. We also launched a simulation of the board in HFSS 3D layout. Once the simulation is complete, we can review the insertion loss and return loss plots for the improved design in HFSS 3D layout. On the Windows menu, select this option to arrange all open windows in a vertical sequence. Compare the insertion loss reports for the improved and nominal designs. Remember, when we analyzed the nominal board in EMIT, the results identified the Wi-Fi controller data line as an offending signal amounting to a huge positive EMI margin. To address this, we moved this line and added the V offense. Observe the results for the fence design. We can see that things have changed. In particular, the coupling between the Wi-Fi controller data line and the antenna has reduced significantly. For the other data in clock lines, the coupling has also reduced. Now compare the return loss plots for both designs. For the fence design, the results predict good performance of the data and clock lines, so their intended operation remains largely unaffected even after making changes to the geometry. Plus, the antenna is still matched. This indicates we're on the right track with our first mitigation strategy to minimizing the coupling. Encouraged by our improved results, we can go back to EMIT and update the dynamic link. This synchronizes the latest HFSS results of the improved design with the coupling data in EMIT. Notice all previously defined aggressors and the Wi-Fi receiver are completely unchanged and all port assignments are preserved. To refresh your memory, if you're using the pre-solved HFSS models while following this tutorial, replace the link design in EMIT and assign ports accordingly to the existing systems. This was pointed out in an earlier video. Before rerunning the analysis in EMIT, this is a good time to implement changes to the spectral content to further reduce the interference. Since the slower speed data signals have spectral content of smaller magnitude in the Wi-Fi band, we choose to eliminate the high speed system from our design. So let's disable it. For the clocks, we can simply define the same start and stop frequencies. In the next part, we'll launch the EMIT simulation.